everyone! How's it going? Welcome back to Kukari Japanese channel. I'm Ryo. Today I'll show you how to make spinach o hitashi juicy. You know, spinach o hitashi is one of the most popular Japanese side dish, but for a long time I've been making it wrong because I cut it before I heat it. You know, spinach is one of the most healthiest veggies. It got loads of iron, protein, mineral, and so on. But if you cut it before heating, all those stuff could be gone into the hot water. So just try this method I'll show you today and make the spinach okitashi super juicy. Alright, let's get started! Alright, the main ingredients for spinach okitashi is only one. Spinach. And you got only two steps to make it. Step one is to wash the spinach and in a frying pan get the water boiled. After it get boiled, stop the stove once and put some salt in. Then put the spinach into the pan for about 30 seconds. You don't have to restart the stove. Step two is to check the spinach by touching its stem and check if it's soft enough or not. If you feel it isn't soft enough, then leave it for more seconds or restart the stove if you feel it's needed. Then put it in cold water for about 30 seconds and squeeze it really soft and cut them into same length. Then squeeze it soft again and put them into dash water and soy sauce and leave it for minutes. Then plate it and put the garnish, bonito flakes, grated sesame on it. That's it! Super easy, isn't it? The only rule you have to keep is don't cut it before you heat it. Okay, why don't we go on to step one? Alright, what are we going to step one? Step one is to wash the spinach and in a frying pan like this, get the water boiled. Alright, now the water's got boiled, so why don't we turn off the stove once and then put the spinach into the pan like this. This spinach is pretty big, so I'll wait for 30 more seconds. I mean, it. one minute. Looks lovely, isn't it? Okay, now one minute has passed, so why don't we go on to step two? Step two is to check the spinach root. Yeah, it's soft enough. If it's not soft enough, leave it for another seconds or just restart the stove if it's needed. Put it in the cold water for about 30 seconds. Alright, now 30 seconds has passed, so I'll make a gentle squeeze to the spinach like this don't squeeze it hard okay then cut it I throw these stem ends away and cut it into about same lengths like this put these things and make it gentle squeeze again it goes like this I got dash powder here one tablespoon of water Plus one tablespoon you know, soy sauce. Okay, that's it. You yeah, put them in there. Right. And leave it for minutes. So now a few minutes has passed, so why don't we play the spinach or hitashi? For garnish, you can put grated sesame and with bonito flakes. Yeah, it looks so Japanese, isn't it? So now, spinach or hitashi is ready to eat. Alright, now you know how to make spinach or hitachi soft and juicy. So why don't you try this method at your home? The only rule you have to keep is don't cut it before you heat it. Alright, thanks for watching and please put the thumbs up button and leave some messages down below. Subscribe. See you in the next video. Take good care. Arigato. Bye bye.